come with us on our trip to Colorado. I wanted to share it with you my number one tip for any time we go to a larger location and that's to see if they have a Walmart nearby and then use them to schedule a pickup order. No, this isn't sponsored, but it is truly one of my best life hacks. Then I don't have to waste time with everyone in the store, adding more stuff and the stress that we all know comes with that. As soon as we get there, I can just stop, grab all our food and head back to the place we are staying. I immediately change the location in the Walmart app to where we are going and then type vegan in to see what things they in particular offer because we all know that every store differs. Then I work to plan all my meals around that. When I arrive, I say I'm there and then everything gets delivered right into my car. Colorado doesn't offer bags anymore so everything went right into the trunk. Then I take it all back to where we are staying and organize it by meals. Okay, let me be honest real quick. I didn't think we were going to shoot this video because we knew we had to move locations during the trip due to last minute planning our part. So the first few clips I just took for IG stories, but we did end up doing this video. The first night we just did a vegan friendly ramen with a steamable bag of broccoli, then the spaghetti and garlic bread, both super easy and super simple. Then we did this tofu crumbled up with an orange sauce marinade we bought, avocado, broccoli, and rice with some green onions on top. And our last quick clip like this was nuggets and fries. This is always a win for our kids anytime, but especially on trips, it's so easy. Now we were in our other location, so I decided to actually start shooting what we were making the rest of the time, starting with some chili cheese fries. This location didn't have sheet pans, but we made it work with these casserole dishes. I cooked the fries completely, then when done, I sprinkled an entire bag of Daya cheese across the top and baked until melted, then divided those up amongst our plates. I warmed some of this Amy's black lean chili while the cheese was melting, which was perfect for using on top without waste left over. Then just made some simple other toppings, avocado, green onions, tomatoes, and salsa, and this is what the final dish looks like. New night, we're making black bean and sweet potato stew, and this is a night we learned that the chef's knife in this place sucked, so don't judge my cutting skills when you see the sweet potatoes. Melted some vegan butter and then sauteed some onions and peppers. I always try to carry some salt and pepper packets when we travel because we need seasonings. I added some garlic, let that saute for a minute, and then in went those sweet potatoes and our black beans and give that a stir together. Then add in some canned coconut milk. This recipe on our website also calls for a bunch of different seasonings, but they are loosely based on a taco seasoning mix. So in efforts to not have to buy or take a bunch of seasonings with us, I love just grabbing some taco seasoning mixes. It's a great hack when traveling so you can do the same. And then some veggie stock and stir that together and let it cook. I also made some garlic bread with this meal to use up the rest of the baguette that we had. Literally just spread some vegan butter on top and some minced garlic and then place that under the broiler. While we do try to do a little waste while we travel, I do like grabbing these minute rice cups since it's about one serving in each cup for us and then I don't have to worry about taking home uncooked rice in a bag. And then when plated, this is what our final meal looked like. This was our first time making this dish on a trip and our girls actually said this was one of their favorite dinners we made the entire trip. So huge win there. For our next meal, we actually drove from the Vail area to Breckenridge one day and we heard that you can't do Breckenridge without stopping at Piante Pizza and man, we are so glad we did. This is a 100% vegan pizzeria with a New York style pizza as the focus. We got garlic knots, chicken parm and pepperoni pizzas and then ordered all but one of their desserts and regret absolutely nothing. Highly recommend this place. 
Next dinner, we have some cauliflower just blanching and we are going to be making our cauliflower fajitas. Into a casserole dish, we added our cauliflower with some peppers, onions, and while not on the website this way, we added some black beans for a protein in this dish. We used the melted vegan butter as our oil and tossed together and then used again that taco seasoning mix as our hack for the seasonings here. Then toss that all together, made sure it's all coated and into the oven it goes. We plated this on some crunchy and soft taco shells with some of that salsa from the night before. It wouldn't be a make it dairy free video without a taste test so here we have some vegan energy gels. We've never tried anything like this before but saw them in a shop and wanted to give them a try. Yummy! It tastes like caramel! <laughs> you some. You like it? All right, try. Is that good? Can I take a little? Just a little. It also wouldn't be a Colorado trip for us without a trip to Voodoo Donut. There are multiple Denver locations, including one in the airport now, and there's eight to 12 different vegan options to choose from. And lastly, we just want to mention this awesome airport find called Eat Garbanzo in Concourse B in the Denver airport. Almost everything was vegan and it was absolutely delicious. Thanks so much for traveling with us. Until next time.